Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing blessed today. As you guys can see from the title of today's video, we're going to be heading out to the range or my local playing field to test out my first suppressor. This is the Omega 36M. If you guys didn't watch the last video, make sure you guys tune in and watch my unboxing of my first suppressor. This is definitely a great feeling to have. You know, it's, it's everybody's right to own one. So if you can, I would personally, if I was one of you guys, but the weight is so much more satisfying than instantly walking out from a gun store with your firearm with your CCW. You still gotta go on a five to six month wait for this bad boy, but after your following comes in, that feeling is like no other, I'm telling you. So, like I said in today's video, we're gonna be headed out and we're gonna be testing this out on my different firearms that I have it set up for so far. I have 30 barrels on all of my pistols, so I could test out any one of my pistols. So, I feel like I'm gonna be taking out the Glock 17 Gen 3 Gucci Glock that I have on this channel. I built that out. If you guys want to take a look at that, make sure you guys check that out. That's the Gucci Glock. Um, Gucci Glock. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you? Seventeen Gen Three. I don't know. I just had a little brain fart there. Sorry, guys. So that's what I'm gonna be taking out today to test it out, and then I'm also gonna be taking out one of my full size. ARs so I could test it out as well. I'm gonna be testing out I'm gonna be testing out in the long and short configuration for you guys with some supers and some subs. So make sure you guys tune in if you guys want to see how good this Omega 36M suppressor is. And without further ado, we're gonna catch you boys out at the rain. Oh, on a quick note, I don't know if you guys did see this. This is the 945, the new 945 XL uh quick access. EDC bag right here. They sent it out for your boy so I can check it out and make some reviews on the channel for you boys. So make sure you guys stay tuned and check out this these boys at 945 Industries. They got a lot of heat and pressure coming out. No kizzy. And this is the XL variant. So you can have some optics, uh, you know, lights and all that on your carries. This is for the bigger size firearms. And yes, sir, it's still got the quick detach um accessory so you could quickly access that firearm just like that but yeah make sure you guys check them out at 945 industries and stay tuned i'm gonna have some more content coming out for these boys in the up and coming days i'm gonna be making some shorts and stuff for them and maybe be posting some stuff on my ig for them as well if you guys don't follow the ig make sure you guys follow that ig right here that is my only social media account that i'm using right now is instagram and obviously this YouTube channel right here. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop taking up your boys' time and give you and give you guys what you guys are here for. This Omega 36M at the range. What's going on, guys? We now at the range, as you guys can see in here. It's kind of packed in this area, but we still gonna get that video popping for you guys. Let's show you guys what we got cooking right here. So, full. I looked around, and as far as I was able to see, I can't find any subsonic ammunition for 223 so we're gonna just be using supersonics over from the boys at nautilus ammunition and then i got some subs from federal american eagle over here from my local gun store 147 grain so these are some subsonic nine mil and then we also got some supersonic nine mil so we got some subsonic nine mil for sure so we could test that out on this glock 17 gen 3 and then we got my full size ar over here as you guys can see everything's empty this is my full size ar that is 556 nato and that means 223 and 556 so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be shooting five of each we're going to be shooting five supersonics unsuppressed and then we're going to be shooting five supersonics suppressed and then in the long configuration and short configuration for you guys and then also with the nightmare we're gonna do the same thing over here with both of these ammunitions we're gonna be shooting five supersonic subsonics on suppressed then five suppressed in a long configuration and then five suppressed in a short configuration and we can compare it to this nine mil fioki supersonic we're gonna be shooting five on suppressed five suppressed in a long configuration and once again five suppressed in the short configuration so like i said we're going to be using these two 
setup is right here. This is my Glock 17, and this is my Diamondback AR-15 right here, chambered in 5.56 NATO. And these are the rounds we're gonna be using today. We've got some ear protection, so just in case, see how things go, and maybe we could take off the ear protection. This is the Omega 36 Sun we're gonna be using today for the suppressed video. And this is my Charlie booster piston that you need to suppress pistols. So it's the setup that we're gonna be using today. And without further ado, let's get this video on the road. So like I said, today we're gonna be starting with all unsuppressed supersonic rounds. So we're gonna be starting off with these Fioki 9 mil. This is 115 grain, and we're gonna be putting it through the Glock 17. We're gonna be putting five rounds unsuppressed and Let's get this rolling. All right, so we're gonna start with the five Fioki supersonic rounds on suppressed. Should have got the decimal meter, to be honest. Forgot about that. All right, right now we're going to be shooting unsuppressed the subsonic 145, 147 grain federal ammunition right here. Unsuppressed. Just so you guys can get a comparison how it is unsuppressed and suppressed. If you guys never seen a subsonic bullet before, this is how it looks. I've never seen one before in 9 mil, so that's pretty nice and different. All right, we're gonna be shooting on subsonic ammunition on suppressed, just so you guys can get a comparison how it is on suppressed and suppressed. As far as it being subsonic and supersonic, honestly couldn't really tell a big difference. And now let's get the suppressor on these things. So now we're gonna be moving forward to the supersonics of the full size AR using this Nautilus 223 55 grain ammunition. All right, right now we're gonna be using the Nautilus 223 55 grain ammunition supersonic rounds. We only have supersonic for 223 sadly, so we're only gonna be testing supersonic how it is on suppressed and they're all gonna be supersonic rounds today, not like the 9 mil. We got some subsonics for those. All right, now we got the suppressor on my full size AR. We're only going to have supersonics for the AR today, so we're going to start it in the long configuration since it's already in the long configuration. We're going to be moving forward to the supersonics in the 9 mil and then the subsonics in the line mil, both in the long configuration. Then we're going to break it down in the short configuration and show you guys how it sounds in supersonic with this and then super and subsonic in the 9 mil as well. So let's see how it's sounding. How supersonics are sounding out my full size AR with some supersonic rounds. It's my first time shooting this thing right here, this setup. So let's see how it's sounding. I'm gonna take one ear off just so I can see if it's hearing safe or not. All right, I- I think it's hella quiet. I personally feel like it definitely is hearing safe, so I'm gonna shoot five more with both off just so I can see how it really is sounding personally. And compare it. Now what what are you shooting now? The same the same thing. I just wanna take it off my headphones and see how I personally hear it. Alright, we're gonna shoot, be shooting the same exact thing. And I just have no ear protection on on both ears just so I could really see how this thing is sounding. I'm gonna try to hit it into the dirt so we don't have any sound of anything besides hopefully just the function and the bullet.
definitely get some gas blowback. My ears definitely feel good still, but you definitely get some gas blowback in the face. So you definitely want to be using some eye protection when you're doing this. As you guys may know, this bad boy's cooking up. So that's why I got this over here. When this thing gets hot, that's why you get something like this. I personally just gonna call that a suppressor sock. And so you could you take it off from different firearms and put it back on without hurting your hand because this thing does get really hot. You could call it a suppressor condom. Suppressor condom. Uh, yeah, that could work, I guess. I like that better. I feel it. You can't feel it anymore. Oops. I like it better without the condom. I say, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. But for I like it better without it because it looks, he feels like warmer. Because it's hella cold out here. Yeah, but it's gonna get too hot eventually. Now since uh, we already tried it on my full size AR with this ASR mount on it, we gotta try it with the Charlie. We gotta exchange the mount and put this Charlie mount on it so I could apply it to my pistol. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, now we got the Charlie booster piston mount on there. So we can take this dread protector off my pistol. As you guys can see, everything's safe and clear. On this bad boy we're gonna be testing out supersonics in a long configuration and then we're gonna be testing out subsonics in a long configuration five and five so we're gonna get started with the supersonics first 115 grain fioki rounds and as you guys may know if you guys don't know the difference between supersonic and subsonic rounds you guys can see right here on the box it's a heavier load compared to sub supersonics is a lighter load so it's gonna be going faster subsonics a little bit heavier heavier load so it's gonna be going slower breaking the sound barrier a lot less than a faster moving round so subsonics is usually what you want to run when you want to have your gun as quiet as possible so first we're going to be testing out these fioki supersonic rounds in the long configuration function clean um i don't know if you guys could see here but this uh, this optic definitely got a lot of blowback back from the gas um as far as hearing safe my ears are definitely safe i'm hearing perfectly no problem so now let's get some subsonics five subsonics in here and let's hear the sound difference all right now we got the five subsonic rounds federal ammunition here as you guys may already know, we got five subsonic rounds in here. And now let's hear the sound difference coming out the long configuration out the Omega 36 and my Glock 17. This setup right here is my Glock 17 Gen 3, the Omega 36 m long configuration. And we got some subsonic rounds, nine mil in here. Pretty quiet. Definitely, this bad boy is smoking, and it's definitely causing a lot of blowback in this firearm. So I'm definitely have to go home and clean this bad boy. And from here on out, it's only gonna get louder because this isn't a long configuration. And now we're gonna take off the suppressor sock or condom, and we're gonna break it down into a shorter configuration, and we're gonna see how that sound difference is. All right, now we got the Omega 36 M. This is why it's considered an M, because it's modular. We got the longer baffles taken off, and now we got it in the shorter configuration. The more likely the pistol configuration you wanna have it in, but it's gonna be a little bit louder now. So let's test the difference. We're gonna be shooting some supersonic first. Like I said, these 115 grain Fiokis, and let's see the sound difference in the long and short configuration with supers and subs. Then we're gonna be taking off the Charlie booster piston mount, putting back on the ASR mount, 
and shooting the supers out the AR for the finale. You know, that's gonna be loud. So these are the supers coming out the Omega 36M in the short configuration. I could already tell the slide is definitely moving a lot faster because there's a lot less weight on the front. What's funny? Still hearing protect, hearing safe. So this Omega 36M is a beast. Now we got the Omega 36M in the short configuration. We're shooting some subs out of it. It definitely was quiet with the supers. So I could only expect it to be even quieter with the subs. This is a pretty nice um, configuration if you ask me. Looks like my new home defense setup. Oh my god, it's so quiet. What you think? Um, I definitely feel like it's a little bit louder in the shorter configuration, but definitely still safe for indoor situations, I feel like. Omega 36M on a Glock 17 in the short configuration with some subsonics. Now what? So like I, s <laughs> like I said earlier, even the camera man forgot already. So we're gonna be switching this out. Switching out the mount here. Right now we got the Charlie booster piston mount. We're gonna be switching it out for the ASR mount. And then we're gonna be throwing it on the AR with some supers. In the short configuration. Like I was saying from all that blowback, I know you guys seen it before I put it in there, or you guys can see that little that bronze color right there. That's how it's supposed to look. And a lot of that blowback has been coming from all these different rounds. I don't think I'm gonna clean it though because suppressors are better the, the dirtier they are. That's what I hear, so. Now let's get this ASR mount on there. This is the uh, tapered adapter. Oh shit, wrong way. Tapered adapter right there. Hmm? Going on over there. All right, just like that. It's that simple. Now we got it on. Let's get it on. Okay. Make sure it's unlocked. Should be able to do this whole thing with two fingers, as I heard and learned during shot show. So. Just like that, and it's on. What's funny? Always laughing. Always laughing. Man, this is a nice setup. All right, supersonics, five supersonics, out the short configuration, out the Omega 36M, out my AR-15. This is a Diamondback AR-15 right here, chamber in 556 NATO. Is there an AR made in 762? Yeah, it's called the uh, Mutant, the MK-47. I need to get one of those things. Um, all right, let's drop the bolt. We got some supers coming out the Omega 36M. These are 55 grain, no ammunitions. Um, and the Omega 36M short configuration. Let's see how this bad boy's sounding. My ears, I'm scared. Let's go a little further back. Is this the further back? There you go. The further the better. Still here and safe. This Omega 36 Sam is a bad mammal jammer right here. This is in the short configuration, and those were some supersonics because, as you guys may know, there's not a lot of 223, 556 that are subsonic. So I couldn't find any locally, but maybe in the next video, I'll be able to get some. Bruh. Maybe in the next up and coming video, I'll be able to get some online, some subsonic 223 and 556 ammunition, so I can test that for you guys. I appreciate you guys for tuning in the whole video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys drop a like, drop a comment on what you guys think your favorite configuration was for this Omega 36M for, I guess, let's say a home defense situation. And without further ado, you guys stay blessed and peace. Don't forget to subscribe.